Welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools, and boy have we got some big, big news for you today. Yeah, you may have seen it already, but Flex has announced that they are coming in exclusively at Lowe's. Now, who's Flex? Well, we're going to get to that in a minute, but I can tell you this is going to be a professional-grade power tool. We're talking about on par with Milwaukee, with DeWalt, with Bosch, Makita, all those. This is something you're going to have to pay attention to. Now, let's get you in here a little closer here. So this is going to be a 24-volt line. <laughs> you think you may know where this is going if you've been following Lowe's. 24-volt line. A professional I think they're all gonna be brushless power tools now we don't have a whole lot right now because they're just teasing us with a few images right now the line we can see so far and there's gonna be a lot more a lot more than this but what we can see so far is we can see a circ saw a grinder a drill driver an impact and a recip it looks like a full-size recip over on the right don't have a lot of individual photos, but we do have a couple. You can see the impact here. We can see the Cirque saw. From what I've seen, they look fantastic. Now, I know you can say, well, who cares how they look? Well, it, it's an indicator, right? So we got here a quick little video from them, about 30 seconds. Let's take a look at, at what they're pushing here. Against the industry leaders and power tools. We put professionals head to head to prove Flex is the next generation of power tools. Flex versus the competition. So anyway, let's talk about who Flex is and why you should really pay attention to them because they're no Johnny come lately to this scene. They've been doing this for a while. Now in North America, most people have only heard about them in the automotive and marine polishing industries and the metal refinishing industries. That's really where you see it here in the US, but they've been a huge player in Europe. They were founded in 1922 in Stuttgart, Germany. Now, Stuttgart is a beautiful city over there in Germany. We all know big things happen in three flex getting founded there. Of course, Porsche is founded in Germany. And then this dude, I mean, come on, coincidences? I, I, I think not. So anyway, they were founded in Stuttgart. I think currently they're in Steinem, Germany. I could be wrong. I could also pronounce it wrong. You never know. <laughs> anyway, they start off with a flexible shaft grinder. But what really put them on the map was they invented the angle grinder. I mean, that's it. That's Hall of Fame you know, level right there. That alone will put you in there. Then they come out, they've got their polishers, they've got their metal refurbishers. They've kept producing you know, newer and better products throughout the years. 1996, they renamed themselves Flex Das Original, which of course means the, the original. They're the first, you know, because of the, the grinder. They also came out with their line of giraffe long neck uh, sanders for like, uh, you know, drywall and finishing surfaces like that. These things are fabulous. I wish they had those when I had to get my, oh, I hate drywall, man. I hate the stuff. Anyway, they kept, uh, you know, building more and better products throughout the years. Now they eventually ended up partnering with Porter Cable of all people, but that only lasted until I think it was 2004, which is when Porter Cable got bought by Stanley Black and Decker. Well, not being dummies themselves, they knew better to get involved in that mess. So they kept going off on their own until I think it was 2013 they got bought by Shervon. I wonder if they have that in their timeline here. Oh, there you go. In 2013, they get taken over by Shervon. And Shervon has continued to run with them and continued to make some really amazing products. Some products that maybe you've heard of, even if you haven't heard of the Parrot Company, Shervon. They're one of the top 10 largest power tool companies in the world. I mean, they own Ego. All right, they're the guys who bring you the Cadillac of outdoor power equipment. I mean, look at that baby. You could cruise for hours in that thing. <laughs> then over at Lowe's, they make the Cobalt line of power tools, that 24-volt line of power tools. Remember what we are talking about? 24, the, yeah, 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 there, there's a reason. And, you know, the Cobalt line has just blown people away. I'm a huge fan bear of it myself. I know a lot of prosumers, a lot of, you know, homeowners, and a lot of pros who use these tools. It's a great line of tools. How about Masterforce over at Menards? Menards, third largest hardware store in the U.S. And their home brand? Made by Shervon. Who else do they make? How about Skill? We're talking not just Skill Power Core, but Skill Saw as well. I mean, that, it, that, that right there, I mean, come on. You can't argue with the fact that this is a company that knows how to make professional grade tools and to do it well. Now, they also own Hammerhead, which is an introductory level tool. Now, this is something I really didn't even know about until I started seeing them show up 
over on Amazon and getting promoted a lot. And I looked into it and I was like, ha, Siobhan again. Man, I keep, I've been telling you all, I told you last year, I thought that Siobhan was an underrated company and that they were going to start making waves. And I told you when I saw Skill, you know, with the 12-volt brushes, on, I said, this is it. It's going to happen. 2021 is going to be the big year. What's that? Yeah, that's my I told you so dance. <laughs> anyway, in North America, they've been doing, you know, the power tools and stuff like this. But, you know, what have they been doing everywhere else? Well, this is some of their power tool line that they have in Europe. Oh, look, there's some more of it. Uh, you like uh, ShopVex? I look, okay, I know, wet dry vex. I love these things. They, they look like they should roll around going beep, beep, beep at you and stuff. Uh, they're nice, clean look. I like those a lot. I'd love to get my paws on one of those. On top of that, they also do a sustainer type thing. Now, this is over in Europe. When you buy, you know, some of the tools, they come with the box and all the box are interlocking and stuff like that. I would love to see them do that here in the U.S. with the Flex line. I don't know if it's going to be a thing. I've not seen anything that hinted at it, but boy, we can keep our claws crossed on that one, can't we? Now, we got a press release from uh, Shervon, and one of the biggest things that I've not heard anybody talking about yet is that Flex will include a limited lifetime warranty on any tool, battery, or charger purchased with registration in 2021. That's a huge deal. That's an incentive trying to get in that, that power tool line. Now, will that go forward? I'm guessing no. I'm, I'm thinking this is just an incentive for this year to get people into the line to try it out and to help them, you know, get to that next level, you know, really quick. Give them some, some boost there. Shervon's known for doing five-year warranties and good five-year warranties. The Cobalt has a five-year warranty. All the skill stuff has a five-year warranty. Excellent warranties. I think that's what we're going to see going forward. Now as to the rest of the stuff they talk about here, they talk about the half-inch drive, two-speed with the turbo motor uh, or turbo mode, 1,400 inch-pounds of torque, 2,500 RPMs, anti-kickback technology, sensor-free brushless, Again, uh, all the stuff you, you'd expect to see, and that's some pretty high numbers. Do, will they meet those numbers? I, I, I don't think this is like some of these you know, like smaller companies coming in and going, it's 48,000 volts or something. I think they're serious about this. I think they're going to hit those numbers. The Flex quarter inch uh, quick impact. It's got three speeds. It's got self-tapping screw mode. It's got a quick eject collet. I like that. How about the Recip saw with a quick eject also? You cut metal blades. Oh my gosh, you want to grab that blade and take it out? No, if you haven't learned that lesson, you will. <laughs> Unless you buy this, you'll never have to worry about it because you use the quick eject system. I got to like that. Now, as I said, there's a bigger picture going on here. Multi-tiers. multi, multi -tiers. This is not just a new line of power tools. Not just a new line of power tools they are aiming at the pros. Because when you look at it right now, Lowe's is not in a good spot, okay? We talk about who are the best uh professional grade power tools in the u.s number one by, by sales number one's dewalt then it's probably uh, milwaukee and makita neck and neck there for number two well guess who has all three of those home depot in fact home depot you know they've got the exclusive with the ryobi and with the rigid they're the number one seller of of the milwaukee they you know as far as retail you don't see many other places carrying the makita you know lots of places carry the dewalt but they have a huge selection of dewalt as well when it comes to professional grade power tools, Home Depot is killing it. Now Lowe's, you like they've they've got to have a similar lineup, right? Yeah, not so much. Yeah, they've got DeWalt, but so does everybody else. That's not going to get you in the door over at Lowe's if you're a pro. Craftsman, no. Cobalt, maybe. Cobalt's been, you know, they've been just killing it over there. Porter Cable, <laughs> oh, what a dog that brand has turned out to be. I'm sorry if you invested in it, but you know I. There's very few things that Stanley Black & Decker, I feel, does right. The higher-end DeWalt, uh, the uh, XR tools, the Mac tools, stuff like that. But everything else, I've just been, I've seen, I've been disappointed in. And Porter Cable, we've been talking about it on the channel. I, we think they're going away. Uh, now, the, the CEO of Lowe's or, did say that this would not, the Flex line. He said the Flex line will not be displacing any current line. Now, note what he said. Don't read into it. What he said was the Flex line won't be displacing anybody but i don't think there's room on the shelves for all these brands so one of them's going away so who's it gonna be Porter cable bosch metabo i i don't think this since they did the name change they i mean hitachi's been struggling for some time and i think after they did the name change a lot of people didn't realize who it is and it's been really dropping off in sales for them 
which is why, you know, again, over on the Den of Tools Facebook group, we've been talking about it and seeing these deals. We see a lot of yellow stickers on, on Metabo. And you know what else we see? We see them losing shelf space. And to who? Well, not to Flex, but to Skill. Skill, the, specifically the Power Core 12 that I'm a huge fan bear of. I recently bought into that line. I'm, I'm loving it. That is a great, great little line of tools. They're, they're adorable. I love using those things. Again, this is going to turn into a street fight between Home Depot and Lowe's. Now, why do you ask? Why? Because Lowe's has got to get that pro grade, uh, that pro, the pro market. They have to do it. And but part of it also is I think it's a personal issue because Marvin Ellison, the CEO of Lowe's, wants to kick Home Depot in the teeth, and there's a reason why. He used to be one of the top five guys over at Home Depot. Some people might have said he was number two. A lot of people said he was next in line to be CEO over at Home Depot, and he got passed over. Now that would set a fire under anyone's backside. So he went over to, he quit. He's like, I'm out of here. He went to J.C. Penney's, where he did pretty much nothing for a couple of years. Not that anybody could save that sinking ship, but I think he was just biding his time until his, uh, his non-compete expired, and then he got tapped and moved directly, like the day it was done, all right? He moved over to Lowe's, and now he is gunning, gunning for Home Depot. Uh, I think it's not just a professional thing. I know he's got a lot of stock. I think it's personal with Marvin, and I don't, I don't blame him a bit there. On top of this, he knows he knows Home Depot's game plan, all right? He knows what they're doing. He knows he needs to get that pro market. One of the first things he did was he started the Lowe's for Pros initiative, all right? That's, you know, a, a way of getting tools and materials and stuff into the hands of pros better at better prices and that kind of stuff. Now, the other thing he had to deal with is he had to deal with Stanley Black & Decker. So Stanley Black & Decker paid $900 million for Craftsman. And they're like, we're going to put this in a store. And guess what? Lowe's, you're getting it. Now, the story I heard from a regional manager over at Lowe's was that basically they were told, you're going to give us X amount of shelf space or we're going to pull all of our, our tools, including the DeWalt line of power tools. And DeWalt, at least according to him, accounts for 50% of all the sales of power tools over at Lowe's. So Lowe's is like, yeah, we, we, we got to do this. We don't have much of a choice in this matter so what are we going to do well i don't think marvin was going to sit around you know he's like we'll give you the shelf space but i think you know machination 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 and stuff they happen you're not gonna sit there and let, take that line down so he taps cobalt you know shervon who makes their cobalt line and says hey we want a relationship with you the same way home depot has that relationship with tti again TTI, they're the manufacturer between, behind Milwaukee, behind Rigid, behind Ryobi, and, and behind Hart also. But Rigid and Ryobi have exclusive partnership deals for retail sales with Home Depot. Milwaukee, they're not exclusive, but they do give a, a good nod. Like a lot of the newer tools show up there. They get more of the tools, that kind of stuff. They're definitely the number one seller of Milwaukee tools. So when it comes to these lineups, the TTI and Home Depot, are they're tied at the hip. And I think that Marvin saw this as one of the reasons that Home Depot has, has succeeded in gaining that pro market over the years. And I think he's 100% right on that. So he said, you know what? Let's talk to Shervon. Let's see what if we can do the same thing with these guys that Home Depot did with TTI. Well, the first thing they did was Shervon packed up uh, Ego's bags and they left Home Depot overnight. This was a big deal last year. We talked about it. I mean, literally in the middle of the night, there we get one day we get a press release from Home Depot saying that we're we've chosen to no longer carry them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the next day we see an exclusive agreement between Ego and Lowe's. That that doesn't happen in one day, folks. Corporate deals like that don't just happen overnight. That was that was plans in the making, and uh, they left. They packed their bags and they were gone in the middle of the night. Left a note said uh, it wasn't you, it's me, and and I don't like you anymore. <laughs> next we got to talk about skill. We saw skill moving into Lowe's. This is a huge line of 20 volt power tools. We got brushed and brushless in the 20 volt. These are a solid, good entry level power tool. Akin, this is online. This is at the, I would say close to the same line as a lot of the cobalt stuff. As good, if not better than the higher end, you know, uh, Ryobi. A lot of this entry level kind of stuff is getting kind of fuzzy these days. And then on top of that, we add in the power core 12 line. Oh my gosh. I mean, I love this line. So what do we got now? Well, we got the uh, 
we got the, the icing on the cake now with the Flex. This is going to be the big Pro Tool line that's exclusive at Lowe's. Then what do we have? Then we've got Cobalt under that. And then we've got the skill in the Power Core 20 and the Power Core 12. That's a one, two, three punch right there. That's your good, better, best with the Goldilocks zone in the middle. This is this is it. This is going to put Lowe's in contention for the pro, pro market. I'm telling you right now. Now, these tools are going to launch in 25 days, 4 minutes, and 14, 13, 10 seconds as of filming right now. All right, and I know a lot of you may have seen this earlier. I wanted to hold off on this because I wanted to get the whole story together about what all is going on because I, I know a lot of you are like, well, nobody, you know, there's a lot of fanboys out there. You know, nobody can compete with Milwaukee. Nobody can compete with, you know, with DeWalt. I'm sorry, but if Milwaukee is as good as they say they are, then why isn't the rest of the world using them as well? Why is it when you leave the U.S., you go over to Europe, you see Flex, you see Bosch, you see Hilti, and you see Makita, all right? These guys can make good tools, all right? They, you know, the, the tools are designed, you know, you got a German company for design, you got the, the company that's been making a lot of these power tools for everyone else anyway for years, they're now making it for themselves. I'm putting my money down right now. I'm saying that these guys, in five years, we're going to see Flex on the job site at the same level, if not better, than Milwaukee and DeWalt and Makita as well. I think they're going to be, I think they're setting the new standard. At least that's what I'm hoping to see because, you know, I'm a tool bear. I love to see good tool competition, right? Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Do you think they got a chance? Do you think they're going to make it? Do you think Marvin made the right choice? Do you think these are the new players on the black the, the new heavyweight champions. I sure hope to see the, a good fight here. Anyway, that's all the Tool Bear has for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.